I decided uh, I was going to stay in the Navy, so uh, I re-enlisted and I convinced my commanding officer to re-enlist uh, me and a couple guys skydiving. So we re-enlisted, you know, swore in, raised our right hands, and then jumped out of the plane at, you know, 12,000 feet. That was, that was pretty memorable. <laughs> I'm Ryan Mills. I'm an aviation electrician's mate second class in the United States Navy. Aviation electricians mate can work on really any aircraft that the Navy has from jets to fixed wing propeller aircraft to helicopters. Really every aircraft needs an AE, so where there's Navy aircraft, there's an AE. AE is the aviation electrician's mate responsible for the electrical generation and distribution systems as well as the engine driven generators and the maintenance and troubleshooting on navigation systems and instrumentation systems. I work on the P-3 uh, Charlie Orion aircraft. It's a, a multi-mission maritime aircraft used for surveillance and submarine hunting. I knew I liked aircraft and I wanted to work on aircraft, but I had absolutely no electrical skills, so it was a completely new experience for me. When you join the Navy, based on your scores, you can be selected as an AV sailor, which is avionics. After your basic electronics course, they decide whether they need you as an AT, which is an aviation electronics technician, or an AE, aviation electrician's mate. AEA school is in Pensacola, Florida. It's 11 weeks long. You learn, it's where you learn about electrical troubleshooting, electrical systems as they apply it to naval aircraft. It's a lot of information crammed into only 11 weeks. I mean, it takes some people in the civilian sector years, you know, to get the training that you're going to get in 11 weeks. One of the reasons I joined the Navy is because I was uh, having trouble paying for school. I almost completed my bachelor's degree and I haven't had to pay a dime out of pocket. Through all the schools I've um, been through through the Navy, A school and, and uh, C school, and every time you get promoted you also get college credits. I've been able to earn about 30 college credits, so about a year of college has been taken care of through the Navy. You can earn college credits while at sea or based at shore. One of the, the fairly new benefits available through the Navy is the post 9-11 GI Bill, which will pay for your college while you're in the Navy or after you get out, but you can also transfer it to your spouse or child. Aviation electricians' mates can be stationed several places within the continental U.S., as well as Hawaii or overseas locations such as Japan. Basically anywhere where there's Navy aircraft, whether it be ships or land-based, there can be an AE. You could work for one of the carrier services. You could also, through the Navy Cool Program, you could earn your journeyman's license as an electrician and that would transfer to the civilian sector. In my free time, I enjoy spending time with my family, my wife, and my one-year-old son. I also enjoy scuba diving, running, and uh, restoring old cars. The best advice I can give if you're thinking about joining the Navy is just to try it out. There's no negative to it. You're gonna get leadership training and you're gonna learn a lot of responsibility and it always looks good on a resume. Thank you for watching this Navy webcast. If you have any more questions, check us out at Navy.com or find us on Facebook.